Now it's time for Lefties Losing It. Let's start with the BBC, where a senior anchor, Marianne Mashiri, was caught in this embarrassing moment. Live from London, this is BBC News. <laughs> I feel bad for her, really. Who hasn't done that? Now, let's go to this dude, this lefty who really loses it. He's firstly trying to silence those that disagree with him, but then his anger intensifies after a accidental misgendering. I will not stand up for this. For that? other people having ideas that disagree with you? Are your ideas so fragile that you can't stand if someone disagrees with you? I'm serious. I know. I know, even if you're right and she's wrong, she has a right to speak. So yeah. You can't yeah, but like, if my ideas are so... The Nazis have a right to speak when they are wrong and I am right. If my ideas when are so bad... Hey, people stop like yelling. Me up and stop yelling. us in concentration camps. <laughs> no one yes. is talking. Do not yell at me, sir. That's rude. Okay, okay, we need to go. You cannot call her, sir. Oh, dear. Now, this shocking example of anti-Semitism from lefty heartland, California. Now, look at these three woke morons blocking a Jewish woman from using the restroom. Bathroom. We've given you all your food. I want to go You've into the restroom. So also, man. currently, this is a private man. property. I, I want to go into the restroom. Yeah. I do need you to leave. I know Israel loves taking private property and saying it's their own, but we got to head. You're not going to let me You're go also into the restroom? Them, so I need you to leave. Please. I want you to go yeah. into the restroom. I need you to leave, please. I was patron here and I have a right to go into the restroom. And we have a right and for a few service. As you heard, she was a customer at the eatery and she wants to use the bathroom, but this trio of freaks is physically blocking her. What, because of the war in Gaza or is it something else? And why are you not letting me in? Because you're, this is what you're yeah. doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. History doesn't start yeah. in 1948, lady. Free Palestine. Now, Free Palestine. Leave. It's always. Please leave. Thank you. It's always. Yeah. Great. We love it. Thank yes. you very much. So that's why they didn't want her in that restroom, because she would record the anti-Semitic words scrawled on their bathroom, but possibly by, by the staff judging by that reaction, saying Zionism is fascism. Mm. Now, let's go to the White House, where this absurd question was posed to Corinne Jean-Pierre. I had an in-depth conversation with Stevie Wonder last night, who is... <laughs> I love Stevie Wonder. <laughs> Again, for the serious question, I had an in-depth conversation with Stevie Wonder last night. Who is asking, requesting okay. a meeting with the president? He's very concerned about the black agenda falling along the wayside and issues like laws of 50 years ago that are now being abolished or gutted to include issues like mm -hmm. the Voting Rights Act, what happened in Arkansas last week, uh, affirmative action, Supreme Court, as we've seen it, ban on books, and he's also even brought up issues of the Congo. I mean, why is she wearing a mask to begin with? But is she really asking and referencing her in-depth conversation with Stevie Wonder about the Congo? That was April Ryan, who manages to be more ridiculous than Corrine, and that's no small feat. She's the same lefty clown who accused Trump's press secretary, Sarah Huckabee Sanders, of faking a pie picture, the pecan pie. It was a big controversy. She was wrong. That was a real pie. Um, but we've got one last lefty loop losing it for you. It's, it's a lefty that we like, though. So he's not losing it. He's making sense. Let's go to Ma. Let's get this straight. It's not me who's changed. It's the left, who is now made up of a small contingent who've gone mental and a large contingent who refused to call them out for it. But I will. That's why I'm a hero at Fox these days. <laughs> Which shows just how much liberals have their head up their ass, because if they really thought about it, they would have made me a hero on their media. <laughs>